a tense day this has been for the Baytown community. The people who live and work there are dealing with yet another industrial emergency. An explosion at ExxonMobil's Olfins plant. We saw flames and thick billowing smoke starting at 11 o'clock this morning. And we've been monitoring the fire all day for you. By mid-afternoon, about 1.30, the flames had diminished, but the thick black smoke was still there as crews worked on knocking any remaining flames down. And now, seven hours later, this is what we're seeing from our camera on the ground. No visible fire, no smoke. The good news coming from ExxonMobil tonight, no fatalities. However, there were injuries. 37 people treated mostly for minor burns. Meanwhile, this just in from Harris County Judge Lena Hildago. Official word that the fire has been contained. She also says air monitoring will continue until this fire has been fully extinguished. We have live team coverage tonight, beginning with Jacob Rascone, live at the ExxonMobil plant. Jacob? Dominic and Bill, the ExxonMobil emergency responders, who are all volunteers, have been fighting this fire now, as you said, for seven hours. The air quality is good, officials say, and the shelter in place has been lifted. Now ExxonMobil will try to determine how this all started in the first place. This is the fourth major chemical plant fire in the county this year. This time, it began with an explosion at ExxonMobil's Baytown Olfins plant, one of the largest of its kind in the world. Our first priority, of course, is the safety of the residents, the safety of the community, the people of Harris County. ExxonMobil says 500 or so non-essential employees evacuated the complex, including 37 treated for minor burns. Two years ago, a federal judge fined the ExxonMobil complex $20 million for decades worth of air quality violations, including at the Olfins plant in 2015, 17, and 2019. So the specific action we're taking, asking for more air monitors so that we can monitor not only when there's an incident, as we're doing today and we're doing faster, but also as a matter of course, so the community knows what the air looks like just as they go about their day-to-day -day lives. Baytown Fire sent ambulances, engines, and a hazmat vehicle just in case. And Atascacita sent a mass casualty evacuation ambulance. Within 10 minutes of the explosion, Baytown called for a shelter in place as a precaution and lifted it three hours later. We do not know what the uh, cause of that incident is, but I can tell you we're going to work diligently to figure it out. ExxonMobil officials say what is burning is a mixture of propane gas and propylene, which is a plastic. And there are four entities monitoring the air quality, including the state and the county and Baytown and Exxon itself. Live here in Baytown, Jacob Resco, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jacob.